the US military might be flying around like Ewoks in the near future. And that is because they just scored a deal with the makers of a hoverbike that was developed with the help of a Kickstarter campaign. Together, they will be developing what is possibly the next generation TRV or tactical reconnaissance vehicle, although the concept is about 50 years old. The Department of Defense is looking at the hoverbike as a multiple role transport craft. It can transport soldiers over difficult terrain, but, but it also can operate in drone mode, providing logistical and surveillance support. And this is amazing. I love the advancement on technology, but my only problem is that it's always the army and a warfare-inspired <laughs> technology advancement. Why car makers are not taking this technology and making it available to us versus we try to make a war machine out of everything that comes it's around? always the people that you don't want to have the technology that seem to have it. What I want to know, so where you're standing in a protest line and all of a sudden some hovercraft is over you trying to arrest you or possibly spray you with pepper spray, I mean, how is this going to work? I think it's just exactly the, all the things that the Department of Defense is going to start developing. They, first of all, this, there's, no, there's no timeline for the deployment of this vehicle. Vehicles. They're just right now they're trying to develop the workflow to manufacture this massively. Uh, but they do, you, your point is very valid. Once we have them, will it be completely a disadvantage for the civilian to not have access to these vehicles while the police or the army does? And I think that's part of why the army is always on the hunt for this type of technology to rapidly appropriate it and be the ones that have the upper hand in the discussion. But let me share with you a little bit of how it works. Originally, the prototype had this model that only had two turbines in front of each other. But then with the advent of drones and quadcopters, they decided for a new model where it has two, four cops, and they're overlapping, making it slimmer, safer, and lighter. And they are going to be electric. So it's a good. For many, many reasons, it will be a good vehicle as long as it's not a, you know, weapons are not installing it. We're not going to see them in retail stores anytime soon, I'm assuming. But the safety and licensing issues alone for something like this, this could take years. So that's probably the only good thing about this. They're not going to get it anytime soon. They will not get it anytime soon. The, the contract just was announced uh, last week on the Paris Air Show. And the Department of Defense had this quote to say about why they are interested in this technology, and they said the Department of Defense is interested in hoverback technology because it can support multiple roles. It can transport troops over terrain, and when it's not used in that purpose, it can transport logistics, supplies, and can be an unmanned asset. It can also operate as a surveillance platform. Now, some are very happy because this is something that is going to happen. This is a UK technology that is coming to the States to be developed. There's going to be a factory. There's going to be some more jobs around it. It's cool technology, but at the same time, it's always warfare that is pushing the advancement of technology, and I think the private initiatives should be taking a little bit of this technology and try to make it available to us. Imagine okay. flying around, getting to work in one of those. It's way <laughs> cheaper than flying a helicopter, and that's one of the reasons they're trying to develop it. So we want to know how do you feel about this, and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.